People may be upset with you, but not for the reasons you might think. They're upset because you've chosen to be selective, even though you have so many options. They're frustrated by your loyalty, your kindness, and the grace with which you carry yourself. You remain respectful, even when others question your character or doubt your intentions. At the same time, they've placed you on a pedestal, something you never asked for, and now they're angry about it. If you've been wondering why there's tension at work, in your family or elsewhere, why some people seem short with you or feel comfortable disrespecting you, it's because of your unique qualities. Your kindness, loyalty and belief in the goodness of others make you stand out. This bothers them because they've lost those traits themselves. Life has taken that from them, beaten it out of them in ways they might not even realize. Seeing that you still hold on to those values can make them feel bitter and resentful. They may lash out, acting rudely or trying to bring you down because they can't understand how you've held on to something they've lost. They may even resent the pedestal they've placed you on. It's like they're thinking, why are you here? If I were you, I wouldn't be. That resentment isn't about you though, it's about how they see themselves. Here's the key, you don't need to react. You don't have to fight back or meet their negativity with more negativity. Your silence is more powerful than any words you could say. When you choose not to respond, you're showing them that their behavior isn't worth your energy. They don't realize they're stomping on something bigger than themselves. The very foundation we all stand on, whatever you believe that to be. Their pride and boastfulness will eventually crumble under their own weight. Meanwhile, your silence will remind them that strength doesn't come from retaliation, but from staying true to yourself. Your silence holds a power that words could never match. Spirit sent me here today to tell you that the position you now hold was never one you sought. Others placed you there, handed you the authority, dressed you in the robe and gave you the gavel. Now they're upset about it, even though it was their own doing. You don't need to brag or prove anything. Just embrace the place they've given you. Take the throne, wear the crown, it belongs to you. The negativity you encounter the random hostility from others all stems from one truth. You hold power. It may not be something people can see with their eyes, but it's undeniable in a deeper spiritual sense. They sense it and it unsettles them. This isn't the kind of power they can easily respect, like wealth or status. You're not a billionaire who can fire them or control their world. No, your power is different. It's rooted in kindness, faith and belief in others and that's what drives them mad. They struggle to understand why someone like you, with so many options, chooses to stay loyal and see the good in them. You hold them to a higher standard because you see their potential, their better selves, even when they can't. Your authenticity, your desire to improve yourself and encourage others, shines through. You don't lash out when angry, and you take responsibility for your actions. These qualities highlight what they lack, and it's something they refuse to confront. They resent that someone like you, with the freedom to go anywhere and do anything, chooses to stay true to a job, a friend, a partner. It frustrates them because it reflects their own insecurities and self-doubt. And when you finally go quiet or shift your behavior, it shakes them to the core. Like nature, you're steady and kind until provoked. Just as we take the sun and rain for granted until a storm arrives, your silence or change in treatment is a wake-up call. It reminds them of the power they underestimated. And that's when they realize who you truly are. This message is meant to remind you of your strength, to help you reclaim your energy and stop giving so much of yourself to people who don't value it. It's time to step into your confidence and realize that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Others already know this about you. They see your potential and your ability to succeed in anything. You don't owe anyone your loyalty if they don't deserve it. You don't have to keep giving endlessly to people or situations that don't treat you right. Instead, focus on being loyal to yourself. Put your energy into respecting yourself first and watch how everything around you shifts. The people and circumstances that once took you for granted will suddenly act differently because they'll realize they were never in control of you. This isn't just about relationships, it's about everything. The way you show up in life, the way you let your job, your friends, or even this world dictate your worth. Holding on to the hope that one thing or one person will work out while they continuously undervalue you doesn't serve you. 
If they mistreat you, it's not because you're lacking. It's because they can't comprehend why you're so good, so genuine. They might think your kindness is a facade, but it's not. That's just who you are. You show up this way because you care, and that's what makes you unique. Some people, unfortunately, can't handle that. They've been so used to negativity and selfishness that when someone like you comes along, they don't know what to do with it. You're not here to fix people, though. You're not responsible for teaching them lessons they refuse to learn. This isn't coming from a place of ego. It's from a place of truth. You've done enough, and now it's time to let others figure it out on their own. You've reached your limit, and that's okay. It's time to stand tall, protect your energy, and let your actions speak for themselves. Let the world adjust to the powerful person you've always been. This message is here to remind you of your strength and encourage you to embrace your power fully. Spirit is saying it's time to expand your horizons. Cast a wide net in everything you do. Whether it's your career, relationships, or personal growth, stop limiting yourself. You don't need to tie your loyalty to one thing or one person, especially if it's costing you your peace and self-worth. The way many of us have understood loyalty, sticking to something at the expense of ourselves, needs to change. Loyalty should never mean betraying your own well-being. If you've been placed in certain situations, whether it's a job, a family dynamic, or a relationship, it's not to lose yourself there. It's to show up as the real you, not to endure disrespect or compromise who you are. True loyalty begins with being true to yourself. People who mistreat you often project their insecurities onto you. They may act out because your kindness and integrity reflect something they've neglected in themselves. It unsettles them because it forces them to face parts of themselves they've ignored. Instead of appreciating your authenticity, they might respond with anger, jealousy, or even fake kindness. They struggle to process genuine care because it's unfamiliar to them. Your silence and firm boundaries speak louder than any words. You don't need to engage with their negativity. When you hold back and stay grounded, it unsettles them even more. They realize they can't shake you, and that alone shows your strength. Some people are quick to bow to those who mistreat them, but resist anyone who sees their true worth. It's not your job to fix them or lower yourself to their level. Cast your net wider, explore new opportunities, meet new people, and embrace all the options available to you. Don't beg for respect from those who see you as just another choice. Your power lies in knowing your value and not settling for less. Let them watch as you grow and thrive, unbothered by their inability to handle your light. Let me share something important. The plans others have made for you, the whispers behind your back, they're all rooted in one truth. You are the centerpiece. Everywhere you go, conversations seem to revolve around you, even before you arrive. It's as if your presence is the unspoken focus, yet you're often treated as though you don't belong. Think about how people treat nature, always there, always giving, but rarely appreciated until it pushes back. That's how they've treated you. They take from you, plan around you, and expect to use your gifts for their gain. They give opportunities with strings attached, expecting something in return because they see your value, your star. They see what you bring to the table, but they don't want you to know it. You've wondered why you're often excluded, why others turn their noses up at you or dismiss your contributions. It's not because you lack anything, it's because you possess something they've lost. A light, a star, a spark that intimidates them. Instead of embracing it, they try to control it, to feed off your energy while ensuring you doubt yourself. But here's the truth, those times are over. The plans they made for you, to use you or hold you back, are done. Your ancestors, your guides, and the universe have seen it all, and they've been working behind the scenes to reveal the truth to you. They've shown you that you were never part of their team because the team only existed because of you. You've carried the weight of betrayal, heartbreak, and confusion, wondering why life felt so heavy. But as you step away from those who sought to control you, you'll notice something, clarity. The addictions, pains, and doubts tied to them will fade, and your purity will return. And so will your blessings. Delayed but never lost, they're already yours in the spiritual realm. No one can take the crown that's rightfully yours. It's time to stand tall, know your worth, and walk forward with confidence. Thank you for listening. Now go claim what's always been meant for you.